So the question asks, Tom walks Bethany's dog once a day for $50 per week. Bethany values the service at $60 per week, while the opportunity cost of Tom's time is $30 per week. The government places a tax of $35 per week on dog walkers. After the tax, what is the loss in total surplus? So let's begin this question by analyzing some key points here. So the first key point is $50 per week and $60 per week. And lastly, the tax is $35 per week. On a little aside, let's talk about what dead weight loss is for a moment. So this is a typical supply and demand curve right here. And when there's a tax imposed, it puts a wedge right here. So if we zoom in, it puts this wedge right here. This area I'm about to shade in red is called the dead weight loss. And I'll abbreviate that as a DWL, dead weight loss. And what this means is these are the people, because this is a supply and demand curve, this has buyers and sellers, which are individuals. So these are people who have left the market because the tax was too much for them that they no longer participate or want to participate in the market. So these people, who, which is the area I'm highlighting in red, are gone. They're no longer participating in the market. So this is the deadweight loss due to taxation. Now, how does that relate to what we have going on here? Now let's start analyzing the question some more. So if the government is placing a $35 tax, this means that Tom is going to have to pay the $35 tax. And when he does that, what started off as $50, he's going to have to bump that up. He has to raise that price so that he's gaining from this business that he's doing. So he might raise it to something like $60 in order to compensate for the tax that he has to give to the government. Let's not say 60, let's say 60, let's just do 70 just to compensate for this, for instance. I don't know the true number, but notice that now because it's 70, Bethany is not going to be pleased. She only values Tom's service for $60. So she's going to say, no way, Jose, you can go find some somebody else's dog to walk. So Bethany is out of the market and Tom, he's also out of the market. So let's draw the supply and demand curve for this quote unquote market right here. It's just between two people, but this is a rough estimate of what the supply and demand curve will look like. So this, since there's only two people in this market, what I'm about to shade in is the dead weight loss. This is the dead weight loss. And also what I'm shading in is the total surplus because total surplus if you recall, if we draw the triangles here, this is the consumer surplus, this area, and this is the producer surplus. So I'll draw in arrows, producer surplus, consumer surplus. Adding these two quantities together gives us the total surplus. Now, the total surplus includes Tom and Bethany because they are the supplier and the people who are demanding. This area right here, which is the total surplus is also going to be the dead weight loss because this right here in essence is the tax because the tax eliminated the two of them from ever wanting to participate in the market so therefore the answer to this question here is to simply find the total surplus which will equate to the dead weight loss so what we'll have here is 60 minus 50 because right here we'll have $60 right here we'll have so we get that our answer will be the producer surplus plus the consumer surplus which will give us the total surplus and this will be the loss because this also in this case is equal to the dead weight loss is so we get that to find the answer to our solution we will have the producer surplus plus the consumer surplus, which will give us the total surplus. And because these two are out of the market, because the tax is too much for them, so they leave, this is also the deadweight loss. Because it's the deadweight loss, this is what is known as the loss in total surplus. We can also write this in a different terminology. The total surplus is equal to the value to the seller minus the total surplus can also be thought of as the value to the buyer minus the cost uh, that the seller had to pay. So in this situation here, we get that the total surplus, so the value to the buyer, the buyer was Bethany, 
I erase that right here. Bethany. And that was $60. The cost to the seller, well, Tom's time, it cost him $30 per week. So the cost was 30. So we get that the loss in total surplus was $30. Answer choice B.